Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watch of Realms video. It is 1322, Monday, January the 29th. Oh, and we're going to have a quick conversation. So Fastidious in the last couple of days has posted a couple of videos. I will link to them in the pinned comment and the description below. If you want to go watch those, he does a great job explaining everything. I'm going to kind of give you the quick down and dirty, and we're going to talk about it a little bit. But essentially, uh, some very, very powerful champions in the game are getting their rates nerfed. They're getting their rates lowered. So in your normal pool, we've got Silas, Boreas, and Comet. And essentially, their summoning rates are getting cut in half. And then on the Ancient side, Ardea also very, very strong. Her rate is basically getting cut in half. So, like I said, Fastidious breaks it all down. Essentially, there's different rarity pools within the overall legendary pool. Um, but these four very, very powerful champions are getting their rates lowered, so it will be more difficult for players to obtain them in the future. The question is, was this a good call? Uh, is it a good thing for the game? Is it you know, is it terrible? Is it something to get up in arms about? It's a good question. It's a good conversation topic. Um, I'll, I'll give my thoughts. I'm really curious to hear yours. All right. Post in the comments. I'd love to chat about this. I think that while I've never developed a video game that millions of people have played, right? So I don't have that perspective but I have managed a couple thousand people at this point. And I know that when you're responsible for making decisions that affect other people's lives, transparency is the name of the game, right? You will never make decisions that everyone agrees with. There will always be hard decisions to make. You have to consider uh, the bigger picture, you have to consider the long-term strategic vision and direction of, uh, you know, the organization that you're making decisions for, and you'll never make everyone happy. A couple quick stories. So in a recent position, responsible for eh, about 150 people, nothing too crazy, but um, fairly close in proximity and timeline to each other, uh, a couple of decisions were made. One of them, uh, my personnel had to re they had to become qualified on a new training requirement. And so since it was a brand new requirement, sorry about that. It's a brand new requirement hasn't been done before. You know, there's no pre-existing uh, template or standard or timeline, anything like that to go off of. You're, you're completely just kind of analyzing the situation that you have and the personnel that you have and the training requirements and you're taking all of this information right and uh ultimately came up with a decision about how the personnel were going to get trained on this on a rotational basis um and for the personnel that had to get trained it was not an enjoyable experience um they had to work longer hours in specific gear that made their lives harder and um th the reason that this had to happen the reason that the new requirement was implemented i obviously knew what it was um because i had to make the decision on how to get my personnel trained on this and i communicated why what the big picture was. I communicated why the training requirement had to happen to my like mid-level managers and to my training managers. And I assumed that they would then relay that information to the frontline members who were actually going through this situation. Um, and that did not happen. So come to find out after a few weeks of this uh, and it not being very well received, I'm I'm just chatting with some of the members about the process and and they don't know they don't know why they're doing it. They have zero buy-in to the process. They're not invested in coming to work 
and learning these new requirements and doing it in a timely and efficient manner because they have no understanding of why it matters. They were just told essentially one day by their boss to show up and do X. So they have no investment because they're lost. Uh, next situation had a scenario where, uh, I no notice called everyone into work, even the members who were off shift and extended duty hours and canceled, uh, primary duty responsibilities for a specific period of time in order to uh, analyze and problem solve to try to um, understand why some negative trends were happening in the organization so that we could get better uh, overall to, to help move forward in the future. Okay, so uh, obviously people aren't happy about coming into work when they weren't supposed to be at work. Obviously, people aren't happy about working more than they plan to work. Obviously, people aren't happy about their their responsibilities being changed up. And all of this was absolutely no notice on the spot. So the very first thing I did when I made the decision was I gathered everyone together instantly. I got everyone in a room and I said, hey, uh, this is what's happening and this is why it's happening. And I, and I explained the history of how how we were trending in a negative direction in certain criteria and why we needed to better to why we needed to do better as an organization in the future um, and the implications if we continued to travel down the the path we were traveling down at that point right so i explained all of that up front to every single person and and there was there's still some people that were mad don't get me wrong right this isn't you know this isn't a movie there were still people that were mad, but by and large, I talked to 100% of the personnel that were involved in this and more than 90% of them were, had a positive attitude about it. They didn't necessarily like, you know, that they had to do X, but they understood that it was important and they understood why it was happening. And because of that, they took the time and energy and brain power to try to problem solve and try to help make the organization better because they understood the, the context. Okay. So at the end of the game, at the end of the name, at the end of the day, oh my goodness, I can't speak. At the end of the day, transparency is key. When you are making decisions that affect a lot of people, you won't make everyone happy. And the people who are making those decisions, they know that they're not going to make everyone happy. So if someone's not happy or if someone's mad, they don't care because they understand that that's a part of the process. What they do want is for people to be bought in, right? So this is my, uh, you know, if anyone at Moonton happens to watch this, at the end of the day, the problem is not that very powerful champions are having their rates lowered. I think the vast majority of rational people can understand that if something is of a higher value, there should be a lower likelihood of obtaining it. The, the problem is a lack of transparency. If someone, anyone, uh, had the responsibility or the capability or the, you know, whatever, to step forward and say, hey, this is the situation. We acknowledge right, as the developers, that certain champions are very, very powerful. And it would not be fair to the player base that has already obtained them uh, if we just, you know, nerfed them in their kits and made them less powerful. But it makes sense, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to go through the, the entire speech, right? But if someone just explained, this is the decision we made, and this is why we made that decision. And this is our intent for the future and provides the context for why the decision was made in the scope of the long-term health and trajectory of the game. So many people would be on board with that. Not everyone. You're not going to make everyone happy. But substantially more people than if you just stay silent 
and just, you know, let people think whatever the heck they want to think. So that's my two cents. That's my spiel. That's my ramble. That's my, my soapbox. Um, communication is important. Communication is very important. So the more you communicate and Moonton overall, you've done a good job of this. You've really not done well when it comes to like champion rates, right? Um, so be transparent, talk about the decisions you're making, provide some context, and you can do that. You can absolutely do that while maintaining a tactical advantage, right? Um, in releasing certain information, right? You don't have to give the entire game plan. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, the player base is the way that the company makes money. Um, but you can provide enough context to make the majority of the player base happy, uh, you know, okay with the decision and, and enhance your credibility moving forward for future decisions. So, man, I don't know why it does that. I tried to turn it off. It won't work, but uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Let me know your thoughts. Those are mine. I, I understand decisions. I, I kind of, um, you know, I empathize with Moonton on this one. Tough decisions got to be made sometimes, but you got to talk to your folks about it. So thank you so much for your time. Um, if you're feeling like it, please support the channel. I'll see you in the next one.